Okay. Okay. Hello, um, Libras. How are you doing? This is to inspire. I'm doing your story read. All right. Switch it to how it resonates. Only if it resonates, you guys. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope this can help you in a positive light as well. Please like and share this video. Welcome. Welcome new viewers. Welcome to my channel. Please subscribe. I'd love to have you as a subscriber. And thank you very much for stopping by and checking out my channel. Okay. All right. I'd love to have you as a subscriber. Okay. So everybody, please like, share, and subscribe. Sit back and enjoy the story read. And here we go. Let's get it popping. Libra's energy. Okay, there we go. Libra's energy. Oh, Lord. It's just popping out. There we go. Okay, we have the Page of Wands. We have the Knight of Swords. We have the Hierophant. Okay, we have the Two of Wands. Different. We have the Six of Wands. Okay, so it's five cards. Keeping this. One. Okay, somebody in your energy may be seeing you as having too much pride, maybe being a bit too immature. All right, they could be seeing you have a lot on your plate and struggling handling, you know, what you have on your plate. Okay, and they they may be wondering why you're not asking for help. Okay, but the type that doesn't like to ask for help, you like to, to handle things on your own. Okay, so or you could be seeing somebody like this. Okay, it could be vice versa. There could be announcement coming in to you as well. All right, page one, moving on. Knight of Swords, drama. Something challenging. Okay. A challenging situation may be coming into your energy. Okay. And this is coming very quick. Okay. You might not have not time to prepare for it. But with determination, you'll be able to get through this situation, whatever is coming. All right. This is either you or somebody in your energy um, about to go through this or you're already going through this. Okay. Or is somebody coming in with some strong words? They might not be too friendly, okay? Not too nice of words. Or they're coming in meaning what they say, saying what they mean, okay? Maybe expressing themselves to you, okay? Or vice versa. All right. Moving on. The hair font. Somebody could be looking at you as marriage material, wanting something long-term with you, okay? Or they're wanting marriage. Or you may need to set some boundaries in a situation, um, somebody might need some counseling. Okay. You may think somebody needs some counseling mentally. Okay. Or marriage counseling as well may be needed in a um, marriage. Moving on. Somebody's trying to make a decision between two people. Maybe one's at a distance. Okay. And you're trying to make a decision between the two. Okay. Or this could be, um, Somebody trying to make a decision to move, okay? Stay where you are, move for stability, better stability situations, okay? Either situation, okay? All right. Next, somebody wants to charge in and um, get a victory with you, or this is you feeling like this. Okay, so now we're going to move on and clarify. Okay, the page of wands. Clarify this page of wands and Libra's energy. Clarify this page of wands and Libra's energy. Okay. So somebody that may be slightly immature is going to come in and try to express how they feel to you. And they want to offer you a cup. Okay, this person. But it may be the way they express it to you. Libra, it may be in an in, in mature manner, okay? They may not know how to talk in an adult-type manner, express it to you in a adult-like manner, okay? All right. Clarify the Four of Cups. And this is a fire sign, okay? The Moon card. 
Moon card. This person may go through depression. This person may have been depressed for a time. Okay? Maybe by not having you in their life or something. Something depressed this person. Clarify. Or you're gonna this is gonna be illuminated to you that this person has depression issues. Okay. Wow, this fell out. And it had them sitting here contemplating. On how to get this stability with you. Maybe the situation depressed them because they, they, they didn't. It was hard for them to find a way to come to you and to find a way to get this stability with you. So it had them in a depressed state because they were stuck in knowing how to get the stability with you, how to offer it to you. Okay. Clarify the Seven of Pentacles. One more card. Clarify the Seven of Pentacles. So let me see if there. Clarify the Seven of Pentacles. And Libra's energy. Okay. Two cards. Oh, three cards. Yeah. And they want to move to better waters with you. This person wants to move to better waters. Justice. They want a victory. All right. The emperor. This person been doing a lot of inner reflecting. Okay. They went through a change. This person has changed. Emperor. This is a very, very independent. This person is in their middle age. It could be their late 30s to their mid 40s. Okay. Emperor. This person. They are, they're very independent. It may be controlling, it may be bossy, okay? But this person has went through a transformation where you knew them in the past, they're no longer like that anymore, okay? But the way that they express to you may be the same. That may be the same, okay? The way they come to you, it may be in a childlike manner, like a joking manner, like, oh, you may not take them serious, but they're actually serious with you about what they want, okay? They're coming in with that offer, okay? And it may like be in a joking manner, if, but you may not take it serious at first, but they're actually serious, okay? All right, so moving on. Clarify this Knight of Swords. Clarify this Knight of Swords and Libra's energy. Okay. Wow. A Gemini. It's a Gemini coming in quick to you. Expressing. And this, you may have cut this person off, Libra, in your past. Okay, but they're coming in quick to you. And they're coming in with some meaningful, strong words. Okay. Clarify the, the Queen of Swords. Clarify the Queen of Swords. The words could, this also could mean they're coming in with some cutthroat words to you. This person could be angry with you about something. This person hasn't changed. This person is stubborn. This person still has a lot of options. This person is still juggling. They're a juggler. Okay. Or this is what they did to you in the past. And they're coming in to you now with some kind of um, expression, strong expression. Either it's cutthroat or this is somebody you cut off in your past. Okay. This person had a lot of options and they juggled you with someone else. Clarify. And they're coming in with some strong words. The devil card. This person has a lot of addictions. Yeah. This person may not have changed. They they have they still have addictions and they're toxic. 
Okay, so they're coming in with some type of confusion, a Gemini, a Libra that's dealing with a Gemini, okay? So be careful, okay? They're coming in with some cutthroat words. This person has not changed. This person may have juggled you in the past. They're still toxic. So that's what it's showing. Okay, the hair font, moving on. Clarify the hair font. And they may have Aquarius in their chart. Okay, so somebody needs some marriage counseling. Or somebody has mental issues that you have a lot of confusion going on with. This could be a Taurus. They have mental issues. This person... That's why they argue and fight a lot with you. Clarify. They keep up a lot of confusion. Or somebody that's coming in to start confusion in your marriage. And it could be a Taurus coming in. Or that you're dealing with. You might already be dealing with a Taurus. And they're coming in to start some confusion within your relationship. If you're not in a marriage, it's something long term you have. And there's a Taurus coming in to start some confusion in your relationship, in your marriage. Clarify the Five of Wands, or they're trying to. I'm hearing jealous. They're jealous of your marriage. Jealous. I'm just hearing jealous. Clarify. Clarify the five of wands. That's what I'm hearing. Somebody's jealous. Clarify the five of wands in Libra's energy. Or it's a Taurus that you're married to. They're jealous. If it's not somebody coming in, it's a Libra that's married to a Taurus and they carry a lot of confusion. They fight a lot. It's a lot of they causing a lot of disharmony in the ma disharmony within the marriage. Okay. Okay. Oh, let me do clarify this. Um five of wands. Wow, it's hard. I'm gonna have to stop shuffling if no cards don't come out. That was too many cards. Okay, these won't go back in. Yep. The five, one, two, three. The five of swords. Yeah, it's a lot of fighting. This person, yeah, they fight. This person may be abusive. There's fighting, confusion in your marriage. Or somebody in your energy is going through this. A Taurus may be going through this in, within their marriage. Okay? Somebody's causing this. Or if it's your marriage, it's somebody causing this. It could be a Taurus is causing this to go wrong in your marriage. They're throwing spell work. They're manifesting this negativity in your marriage with your partner. That's why you are you and your partner are fighting a lot. Okay. Somebody is doing spell work on somebody's marriage. Or long-term relationship. Okay. I'm going to throw one more card on this. See what it says. Clarify the magician. I'm going to clarify. Clar and I'm seeing this in a lot of the readings. Clarify the magician. Yeah, because they want... They want your person. They want the partner's attention and time. And stability from your partner. So they're manifesting. They're throwing spell work. To cause confusion within your marriage and fighting. Page of Cups. Okay? They're coming up with all kinds of creative ideas how to destroy your marriage because they want your partner. Okay? And it's a Taurus. This is a Taurus doing this. Or you're either dealing with a Taurus who's dealing with somebody that's doing this. Okay? All right. And you're going to find this out as well. You may um, find out from somebody. Somebody's going to um, notify you of this. Or if you investigate, you're going to find out. 
if you do some investigation that they're dealing with a Taurus, that your partner's dealing with a Taurus, and this Taurus is the spell work, is doing doing love um spells to create confusion, magic they're using. All right, moving on. And they could have Aries in their chart. Oh, what is what reading? It was a sign I did, and I came up with this in in the story read and in their collective read. I can't remember what sign it was. I did. Um, what sign was it? I can't remember what reading it was. Okay, I'm gonna move on. But I just did the reading earlier. Could be the same person. Okay, clarify the two of wands. Clarify this two of wands. Clarify this two of wands and leave with energy. Clarify this two of wands. Okay, the Queen of Cups. Yeah, there's somebody trying to use their intuition on making a decision whether they should um, choose you or not, Libra. Or should they move to where you are or not? Or move in with you or not, okay? In those areas. Clarify the Queen of Cups. This is somebody that's at a distance, that may be at a distance from you. Clarify the Queen of Cups. They're trying to make a decision between maybe you and someone else or a decision to move in with you. If you ask this person to move in with you, they're trying to make that decision to see if it's the right decision. And they're trying to use their intuition in this um, situation. Clarify the Queen of Cups. Okay. King of Swords. Okay, they're dealing with a Libra. This fire sign. And this Libra fights for them. This Libra is probably not going to let them go very easy. This Libra is a fighter. So this Libra is fighting to keep this person. All right. Oh, this is you. Or they're dealing with another Libra. Or you could be, um, you could be being told to stand your ground, not to stand your ground, but to keep your guard up with this person until they make their decision. Okay. Keep your guard up until they make their decision between you and another person. Okay. And the other person that they may be um, trying to make that decision between you or this is what they're looking at. They're trying to see if um, if you're stable, if you're abundant before they make their decision. Okay. So they're trying to see who is more abundant. Okay. Before they make their decision. I'm going to throw one more card. Clarify this Nine of Pentacles. And this may be a Virgo. They're trying to dis, um, decide between you and them. A Virgo person. They're trying to see if you're more abundant than this Virgo. Or just as abundant. Clarify this Nine of Pentacles. And leave his energy. Clarify this Nine of Pentacles and Libra's energy. Okay. Yep. So they're taking their time. That's why they're taking their time. They're planning and they're strategizing. 
Okay, they want to make sure the stability is good before they offer it. Come in to you. They want to make sure you're you're able to stand good on your own two feet. Okay, as well. Before they offer you what they have, the stability that they have. Okay? All right? So moving on. Clarify the six of wands. Okay. Yeah, somebody is hoping to get a success at um, charging in to you. They want a victory, a success. This person sees you as successful as well. So they're wanting a victory at charging in to you, at winning you. It's stuck in my hand. Yeah, you may be a tarot reader, Aquarius. You may have that in your chart, Aquarius. They see you as being um, successful. All right. And what you do at tarot reading. Clarify the high priestess. They see you as being gifted. Clarify. Or this person is an Aquarius. With earth in their chart. Yep. They want a partnership with you. A fire sign. A Libra with Aquarius in their chart. That's a reader. Okay. This fire sign is coming in. Wanting a victory with you. They see you as popular. They see you as gifted. Okay. They see you good at what you do. At being a tarot, tarot reader. Clarify the three of pentacles. Libra's energy. Okay. Yep. They've been enlightened. They came up on some type of knowledge that you're gifted and popular and successful in what you do. Or they see you um, moving into that success in that area. Okay. Be careful. This person may have been betrayed in the past. They may have betrayed you in the past. Okay. So be careful. Either they're coming in and it, it, it may end up in a betrayal or this person, they may have betrayed you in the past or it could be saying this person has back issues, like a lot of back issues that they have. The person coming in, a fire sign. If you know a fire sign, they have back issues. It's just showing, telling you that's the person that's coming in. Somebody in your, maybe from your past. All right, Libra. So Libra, I'm moving on. Okay, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this collective read. This is your weekly. Uh, please subscribe, like, and share. I love you guys. Be good. Keep your head up. And peace, love, and happiness. I'm out.